What up boys and welcome back to yet another video. In today's video we have something that you guys have requested for quite some time now. It's a loot from 100 runs, a series that I've been doing for almost a decade now. The concept is very simple. I farm a dungeon for 100 runs or an open world farm for 10 hours. I save everything that's good or out of interest and then I make these videos showing you how I farm it and how much gold I obtain. And what better dungeon to start off with than RFD. Before we do that though, big thank you for all the support on the 0 to 10 million gold guide. It's been absolutely insane lately. If you don't know what the gold guide is, it's nearly 200 pages of all the tactics and methods that I personally use in order to achieve hundreds of millions of gold. Not only that, but it's a digital gold guide. So that means every time there's new patch or even a new expansion to the game, I simply update the uh, same gold guide with the, uh, the best ways to make gold, the new ways. And then I will send that directly to your email completely for free for life. So if you think that sounds interesting, check it out with the link down below in the description. Use the discount code STUDENT for 50% off. And if you already have the gold guide, which I know a lot of you guys do, you can always consider signing up to the VIP Discord. Gives you access to all my YouTube videos before you can see them on YouTube. You also get exclusive content in terms of gold tips, investments, spreadsheets, and much, much more. But also link down below so the location of rfd is between the thousand needles and southern barons like all the way down here now both rfd and rfk are good dungeons to do they have completely different loot tables though rfd is the dungeon that i tend to prefer because it has more of those like really big ticket items like it's possible to get those big ticket items. They're big ticket for a reason, though, because they are relatively hard to obtain. Like, you're not going to be swimming in these uh, by any means. But if you go up to uh, like this infographic, you can see some of the loot that you can obtain from uh, RFD. The list is very, very long. There's a lot of good items where the items that I'm usually after the most is uh, going to be the pattern for the rich purple silk shirts. This bad boy is worth anywhere between like 500,000 gold to a million gold. The reason why it's so good is because it's needed for one of the new profession achievements that was implemented in Dragonflight. Extremely good pattern, and considering the fact that it is half a million to a million gold item, it actually sells pretty decently compared to other items in that bracket. So, now I'm going to show you guys how to run it. Uh, just so you guys know, and then we're going to take out the loot that I have in my bags of how much gold I've made. I will say, though, that uh, whenever you're doing RFD, like the, one of the reasons why RFD is so good is the massive loot table. But there's a lot of rare items, a lot of patterns and plants and blue items, which has an increased chance of coming from lockboxes. And uh, the lockboxes or the treasure chest, they can be locked right so you want to do this on a tune where you have a, a profession that allows you to unlock uh, the chests in the dungeon me personally i'm going for inscription because you only need cool tier and inscription like bfa inscription level one and then you can purchase these off the auction house the scroll of unlocking and that allows you to open up locked chests definitely worth the gold it really really is like the majority of the best items comes from the chests in my uh, opinion now once you reach this area right here in rfd you can loot this henry's handbag and it will give you uh this one the recipe for the gold torrent tea which uh by all means in 10 runs you'll have 10 of those it's 100 percent drop chance but um, I tend to sell them relatively fast, and even though they just go for like 500 gold, 1,000 gold each, it adds up, so I always grab a couple of them to make sure that I always have them up at the auction house at any given time. Another thing to note is that when I'm doing this video right here, I'm not looting the mobs. You should. A lot of people are under the assumption that the uh, unlooted mobs, like the loot will just be sent to your mailbox. That's not true. That's true for like the boss kills, but... All these trash mobs that I'm killing right here, like, none of this loot will be sent to the mailbox. So, what I normally do is I kill a pack, and then I will loot the pack. And then I kill another mob, even if it's just one standalone mob, I always loot it, kill, 
loot and I continue like that. It's just that I can't be honest to do that in this video. I'm not in a position where I need gold and I have a loot from exactly 100 runs in the bags. Now, I could do 99 runs and then also loot on this run where I'm showing off the loot, but there's so many trash items that I would have to sort through. Uh, etc so I, I just can't be ours but yeah you would normally just constantly loot these guys as you're running now doing 10 runs of this all, only takes you like half an hour um because the dungeon is relatively small and now make sure that you always check all of these huts right here because there's potential chest spawns inside those so you always want to check them and um this one as well like there could be a chest in here and if there's not a chest in any of those huts that i just showed you guys there's uh there's like fixed chests so if it's not in, in those huts it, it has it has to be one of the huts basically when you're running up here there's at least well there is only one but in one of these huts there has to be a chest now i picked up mine in the first huts so i killed this pack right here once I've done that, I, I skip this whole boss thingy right here. I can't be honest with the roleplay. And I take this side entrance or uh, the I leave the uh, the dungeon with this exit right here, this shortcut. So that's pretty much what I do to uh, try and be as efficient as possible. As I would much rather finish this uh, in the most efficient way when it comes to mob kills per hour. And do 10 runs in like half an hour and then do a different gold farm. So that is how I farm RFD. Now again, make sure that you bring a profession that allows you to open up chests. It doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be inscription. You can use blacksmithing, jewel crafting, etc. A lot of professions have ways of opening up locked chests. Now though, how much gold did we make, and what items of interest did I obtain? Well, I got three epic items. I got double night blade. And I got one ice mail chest. Now, keep in mind that the prices of my realm are lower than the entire region average. Like, I play on a full pop. Half the people watching my stream plays on my realm because they think it's good. So, something like the Nightblade, a unique epic item, is only 9.9k on my realm, right? Which is way lower than the market value. Um, I also kept, well, I received one of these just so you guys can see. Like, it has a region sales average of 455 and um, then I got a bunch of green items. Like these green items are items that I consider to be good enough to sell on the auction house. Uh, so you just gotta check him to see if they're like the Bloodforge Gauntlets, unique of appearance, which you can do by having the add-on ATT. And you can check the prices uh, with TSM and the unique appearance. But yeah, all of these are items uh, that are unique and has a decent sell rate that I decided to keep. But it's not gonna be a whole lot of gold. Like green items in RFD isn't that good uh all of these are blue items that are world drops even though some of the, these are very bad like i'm not going to post these on the auction house even though they're unique appearance they're less than 200 gold but i just want to show you guys the amount of the blue items that i received but these aren't specific to rfd i got two uh patterns and plants i got the golden scale boots and then i also got the barbaric belt which are kind of decent these items, all of these are RFD specific items. I got the Briar Treaders, the Freezing Shard, Double Corpse Shroud, one Quill Shooter, one Bone Club, and then one Archaic Defender. So this was probably, like all in all, probably the worst loot from 100 runs of RFD that I've done. Uh, if we take a look at, if we open up a uh, Bag Appraiser right here and we put it at... Uh, the average market value on eu i can hover above this icon and i can see that i have 793,000 gold in my bags in market value on eu but because i'm playing on uh the realm that i'm playing on the actual buyout price on my realm is only 147,000 gold so definitely not the best but regardless it feels good to be uh on it again with this series and I got a lot of cool dungeons coming up and I'm hoping that I'm going to strike a big in one of them soon so if you don't want to miss that make sure that you are subscribed to the YouTube channel to see these videos and of course uh, feel free to check out the zero to 10 million gold guide link down below together with the VIP discord if you want to support me as a content creator and in returns watch my videos before they go on YouTube and all the other benefits. Both linked down below. Appreciate you guys watching and I will see you all back in at tomorrow's video. But until then, bye-bye.